Hi, welcome back. We are working on Circles Part 2, Lesson 4, Area of Circles and Sectors. Okay, what is a sector? Hmm, a sector you can think of like this. It is a slice of pizza or a slice of the circle. So that's what a sector area is and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's first start and build on what you already know which is the area of a circle. Okay, area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So let's just run through a couple examples here in the note taking guide. We have 14.3 as our radius and that's given. So all we need to do on that is just square our radius. So I'm going to take my handy dandy calculator and take 14 and square it, 0.3 and square it and I get 204.49. Okay, so that means stink that up there. There we go. I'm going to get 204.49 pi and this is in inches. So I'm going to have inches squared because we're talking about area which is two dimensional. Okay, let's look at the second one. This one we're given the diameter. So what do we need to do to find the radius? Well, radius is half of the diameter, so we're going to take 33 and divide it by 2, and we get the radius is 16.5. Okay, so now let's plug it into pi r squared. So 16.5 squared is 272.25 pi, and again, we're in meters this time. So we have to do meters squared because it is area. So that should be all common knowledge for you. You should be comfortable with finding the area of a circle. Okay, so now let's move on to the sector area and what this means. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see. There we go. Okay, the area of a sector is given by the formula the measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared. So what we're doing is we're finding first the area of the circle here. And then we're going to multiply it by the fraction of the circle that we're referring to. So what is the size of that slice of pizza? Because that's the fraction of the circle we're given. So in this diagram, we have angle A, P, B. And if let's give a 120 degree angle to APB, and we're going to try to find the sector area. So let's shade that in so you can see we're finding the area of that slice. The measure of the arc is the same as a central angle. So we would plug in 120 as our angle. So in this case, we would have 120 over 360. So that represents one third of the area of the circle. So all we're going to do is find the area of the circle and then multiply it by the fraction of the circle that we're taking. So in this case, we would find the area of the whole circle and then take a third of it, multiply by one third or divide it by three, and we would have the area of just that part, which is called the sector. Okay, so let's try a couple examples here find the area of the sector formed by angle ACB. Okay, so let's set up our formula. We're actually going to find this shaded region right in here. And our angle is 50, and that's 50 out of 360 times the area. Well, we have the radius, it's 5, so we're going to take pi times 5 squared. So let's reduce our fraction, 50 over 36 I'm going to reduce that to 536 times 25 pi. So I'm going to multiply 5 times 25 and that gives me 125 over 36 pi and our units are inches squared. So that's how we would work that first one. Very straightforward, we're just plugging into our formula. Okay, let's look at the second one here find the area of the sector formed by PQR. Okay, so another very straightforward problem. Okay, we have 160 degrees. Now notice that's almost half of the circle. So if we can figure out the area of the circle, well, the radius is 10, 
So the area would be what? 10 squared times pi or 100 pi. Well, this is almost half, isn't it? So half of that would be 50 pi, but it's, so it's going to be a little bit less than 50. So I want you to get some number sense there. Okay, so now let's set it up where we have 160 is our angle measure over 360 times the area, which we just figured out was 100 pi. Okay, let's clean that up. First, let's divide by 10, which cancels my zeros out. And I have 16 over 36. Huh, they're both divisible by 4, so I can reduce that to 4 over 9. 4 ninths times 100 pi, and that's going to give me 400 pi over 9, and there is my answer. Okay, so that's how you work a forward problem, and I'm not even using my calculator at this point, but you can use your calculator to reduce your fractions if you need to. Now let's look at some where we're going to have to work backwards. And in the last lesson, I showed you a proportional method, and we're going to use that same idea again, a proportion method to solve this one. Okay, so we have it says find the area of the circle and we're given the area of the sector okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slide this up a little bit and then try to use the whiteboard there we go okay so I may need to zoom out slightly so I got a little more room on the whiteboard okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sector area which is the slice of pizza over my total area and I'm going to set that equal to the measure of the arc and I think this has a Z right there so let's add a Z the measure of arc XZ over the area or 360 because that's the degree measure of the whole circle so this is the area of the whole circle okay so now let's plug in some things that we do know we know the sector area, or the area of that slice right here, is 95. We don't know the area of the circle. That's actually what they're asking us to find. So let's call that x is equal to the measure of the arc. Well, what's the measure of this arc from x to z? It's 150 over 360. Okay. Once we get proportions, it's really easy. We just do cross products. I like to reduce before I do a cross product just to make my numbers smaller, but you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 10, which cancels that out, and then divide by, hmm, 3. Yeah, 3 goes into both. So that's 5 twelfths. Okay, so this reduced to 5 twelfths. Now my cross product is a little bit easier. So 5 times x is 5x. And I'm going to grab my calculator, 12 times 95, and I get 1,040, or 1,140. And then I'm just going to simply divide by 5, and so I get 228. So x is 228. Okay, so that means the area, the area of that circle, whoops, is 228 for the whole circle using this proportion method. Okay? So that's how you, the easiest way to do that. You can use the formula and work it backwards, but this way is a little more straightforward. Okay, so let's look at number six. Okay, number six says find the radius of the circle P. And again, we're given a central angle of 98 and we've got a sector area so the slice right here is 40.62 so again we're gonna do like a backwards problem so I'm gonna use proportions again so let's set it up like this um, the sector area over the total area is equal the ang to the angle measure over 360 now notice this time I kind of abbreviated everything. It just makes it a little easier if you want to jot it down. Sector area over total area is the angle measure of the sector over 360, which is the total. 
Okay, so we have 40.62 as my sector area. So I'm going to plug in 40.62 over the total area, which we don't know, so we'll call that X, and 98 over 360. Okay, this particular problem, we don't have anything really simple to reduce with. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a cross product. Okay, I got a calculator. We'll just do um, 40.62 times 360. Oops, I have some extra stuff in there, don't I? 40.62 times 360. And that gives me uh, 14,623.2 is equal to 98x. Okay, and then divide both sides by 98. So I'm just dividing by 98. And I get 149. So x is equal to 149.2. I'm going to round it to the closest tenth. Now that represents the area of the circle. So if my area is equal to 149.22, I can now work that backwards to find the radius, can I? Well, the area is pi times r squared, and that is equal to 149.22. So let's solve this equation for the radius. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi. So I haven't cleared my calculator. I'm just going to divide by second and then the arrow key gives me the pi. And that gives me 47.49. So r squared is 47.49. And then to undo a perfect square, I'm going to take the square root, which is second function, and then the square, um, the square button gives me a square root and then I can pull up my last answer by second and the small negative sign and I get 6.89 so that means my radius is 6.89 and that is the radius of that circle so there was that, that's how you work that one backwards using proportions that found your area from area you plug in your area formula and undo that to find the radius, okay? So there are a couple of backwards problems. Now let's zip over to the second page. And we are gonna be looking at some kind of application type things, okay? So let's read these and see what we can do with these. Okay, this first one is Back at the pizza party, we're now going to calculate the total size of each slice of pizza that were eaten that night. At the pizza party, the goalie, Dan, ate an entire pizza. If the radius of the pizza he ate was six inches, how big was the slice of pizza he ate? Huh. Well, did he eat a slice of pizza or did he eat the whole pizza? Well, he ate the whole pizza. So all we need to do is find the area of the pizza that has a radius of six. So that one's pretty easy. So we're just gonna take area equals pi r squared, and our radius is six inches. So we're gonna get pi and six inches squared, which is 36 pi inches squared. So that was pretty easy, and that's what Dan ate, okay? And you can write that in a full sentence. Dan ate 36 pi inches squared pizza. Okay, you can also multiply 36 times pi and actually get the number. Okay, or get the, an exact, or an, an estimated, I guess, without the pie in there. <clears throat> okay, Charlie ate half a pizza that had a diameter of 20 inches. How big was the pizza he ate? Okay, so he only ate half. So let's think about it this way. Okay, we're, we're gonna take a pizza and he's eating half of it 
and the diameter is 20 inches. Okay, so this time we're given diameter. What is our radius if the diameter is 20? Our radius is 10. Okay, so all we need to do is to pi r squared, or pi times 10 squared, 100 pi. But he didn't eat the whole thing, did he? He ate half. So I'm going to multiply that by 1 half, and I get 50 pi inches squared. And that's how much pizza Charlie ate. Okay, now let's look at Tommy. Okay, Tommy ate one slice of pizza from the pizza at the right. It has a diameter of four inches. What was the size of his slice of pizza? Okay, so he ate one slice. Let's look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight slices in here. So if he ate one of them, he ate one eighth of the pizza. Okay? So let's draw our picture. So we have four inches is the diameter. This guy sure didn't eat much. So if the diameter is four, the radius is two. So what's our area? Our area is two squared or four pi inches squared. Okay, but he didn't eat the whole pizza. He only ate one slice. He ate one eighth times four pi. So let's multiply that by one eighth and that gives us pi over two inches squared. So he didn't eat very much at all. He's eaten the least amount so far. Okay, so let's look at number four. Number four says, the coach chose a slice from a cheese pizza at the right. It has a radius of 12 inches. The central angle of his slice was 45 degrees. What is the area of his slice? Okay, so we have another pizza. This time we're given the radius is 12. And our central angle is 45 degrees. So let's think about what fraction we have. We got 45 over 360. That's one eighth. So this pizza would be sliced into eight equal slices. So one eighth times pi r squared, or pi times 12 squared. So 144 pi over eight. And that's going to reduce. Let's see, that reduces by four. So that gives us two down here. What's 144 divided by four? 144 divided by four is 36. Oh, it reduces down again, doesn't it? It's 18 pi inches squared. Okay, so that simplifies all the way down. Okay, the very last one on here is number five. As the evening grew to a close, the coach noticed a slice of veggie pizza at the right. What is the size of his slice of pizza? Well, we have a 10 degree angle here and it's 12 centimeters, okay? So we have 10 degrees, a very small slice, out of 360, or 136. So that was a really small piece, times pi r, which is 12 centimeters squared. So that's 144 pi over 30.